Well, good morning everybody. Good afternoon I should say. So a miserable wet day here. I'm just going to do a, a little video and try and show you something that I was working on. On the screen at the moment is a picture of Phil Glenn who you were. Uh, if you've been a DJ here you well know him. Good old Phil. He was, uh, he was in the same apartment block as me and during the great lockdown as we call it um, we was in touch with each other a lot several times a day he was in an apartment about three floors above me and and at first we couldn't go out we couldn't go anywhere we couldn't do a thing and so um, we used to uh, go out on our balcony and and chat to each other say so he was three floors above me in a couple of apartments to the right so it's very difficult to hold a conversation but we did we used to chat away and uh, and it was good and uh, we had uh, well, we had lots of ideas which we discussed about uh, things we, things to change. Um, all to do with karaoke. He presented me with a, a disc to sort out which had 500,000 karaoke uh, songs on it. And, and the idea was to try and get them into some sort of order and sort out problems and duplicates and so on. And, uh, and so to do that I had to write a lot of software. It was all done with software. Um, <clears throat> but I, I'm getting a little bit off the subject. Um, Phil, like so many other people, used to use the OTS software at, uh, at uh, where was it, the Palladium. He was there a lot using the OT OTS. But they also had the other system on their uh, virtual DJ that he used. Um, I know th there's still one or two people that use OTS and swear by it. Uh, I'm not one of them. I, I like it, it's a nice system. It's, it's very nice to use, but it's very, very outdated. I mean, it can't play MP4 videos. And these days, a lot of, uh, a lot of karaoke songs are available on MP4. Um, to get them to work on OTS, you have to convert them to MPEG. And that's a bit stupid, because MP4 is a very high quality uh, graphics and uh, video, very high quality and small files. To convert them to MPEG, so that you can get them onto, o2, onto OTS, you have to sacrifice a lot of picture quality and, and the file will get big. So this is one of the things that we discussed and, the, uh, and, uh, and Phil said at the time that the main p uh, thing for OTS was the, the nice ticker that you could run on the bottom giving you the singer's order. And he said if we could only get a ticker to work uh, in the same way on virtual DJ it would be uh, very very popular well that was it that was his idea so I said I'd have a go and, uh, and this is what I came up with this was my attempt at a ticker um, let's delete everything put it back to defaults first I'm showing you this on a computer that is running Linux um, so <clears throat> I can't I can't demonstrate some of the Windows uh, software. We'll delete that and delete that. So now this this program has never is back to its default factory settings, never been used. And this is what happens. We switch start it off. This is this is software for developing software. I should say this is my workstation. So here we have it now. Let's get rid of that for the time being clean things up and we'll get rid of that we don't want to see it so this is what you get at the first time you run it um, and this was a project I, I've only just rediscovered this um, because you know it was left here in Benidorm and this is it this is the ticker which uh, which I was developing in conjunction with Phil and as you see now we've got we've got a box down in the bottom right with my text in it very similar to the little uh, uh, text box that you have with uh, OTSAV. A, OT, very, very similar. And, and there is the, the scrolling text up, up on the upper left. So we want to add a singer. Well, we'll, we'll add three singers. Me, Ken, one of them. Um, we'll put uh, Jack, Jack down to sing. And we'll have Ian to sing. Right, that's three singers entered, but you won't see anything uh, anything change in the ticker. 
it doesn't change at all until we hit the apply button once we hit the apply button that text we've entered will go into the ticker so press apply and now when the ticker goes round we should get those singers it might not appear the first time round um, <clears throat> because it has to update itself um, singers are as follows and of course nothing now next time it comes round it will have those three singers in the display and then we'll add another singer in a moment or, or take somebody off let's have a look one song request and then I'll show you a little bit more about it singers are as followed here we are Ken Jack Ian and there's your three singers so when Ken has sang his song we'll, we'll remove him now remove him because he sang his song and we now have to hit apply again because we've changed it because until we hit apply it doesn't update that ticker screen it's still got the three people in it Ken Jack Ian so now we hit apply it will probably do one pass because it's already started a pass so we'll do a pass showing the three singers again and then the next time it goes round it will have changed to the two singers and of course we can make it say anything we like in this uh, this ticker box yeah singers are as follows Ken, Jack, Ian those are the three and now it will go around for a second time and it will show just Jack and Ian come on tick a box don't make me into a liar singers are as follows Jack and Ian and, and, and this is how it goes now to make this work in virtual DJ is a little bit complicated in a way and I think this is why I abandoned the project initially because virtual DJ doesn't want you to do this they don't want you to do this they, they have their, their own system so <clears throat> but what you have to do is virtual DJ if you set it to to show the um, the, the singer screen in full screen mode it goes over the top of this and obliterates it that was the problem and uh, I've been playing around with virtual D DJ a bit to uh, to work out what's going on so first of all we want to decide what size we want this I mean that's only small at the moment you might want it bigger you might want it uh, wider like this and uh, uh, to whatever width you want put it there and you might want it a bit bigger a bit deeper possibly so make it a bit deeper okay so now we close it and we start it again you must forgive me for showing it's a bit fiddly because I'm showing you on uh, on my develop, development system so here we are now get rid of that again get rid of that and now as you see it's gone bigger and when we restarted it the uh, the background and everything expanded so you can make it any size you want just by stretching it as you would with any other window stretch it and drag it so the point is you would stretch this to the size you wanted and put it at the bottom of the screen so we'll have it down there at the bottom of the screen move that out of the way um, get a mess up in a mess here so we now got it at the bottom of the screen so now <clears throat> having got it like this we'll launch our, our um, karaoke program in this case it's not going to be virtual DJ um, but it will be the one I use open KJ let's open KJ and we'll open the singers window get rid of that for the moment now so now we've got our singers window 
which we don't want to make full screen. So what you do then, you drag, we, we drag this ticker window to this one to the bottom of the screen where we wanted it, say down here somewhere, and we stretched it out to the width we wanted. And then you have the actual song window and you put that above it and you can hide the, uh, the that that you don't want to see now hide that and away we go and of course likewise this this window here the singers window uh, sorry the, the 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 window with the the lyrics in you can stretch to make wider or smaller so that is how you do it you drag drag the ticker the ticker to the bottom of your screen that you're showing all around the room and then you drag the other window that has the the, uh, the song drag that onto the the same screen and you stretch them to the size you want and you finish up with something like this and so now we've got our karaoke program running uh, we could start a song on it but we won't bother um, and uh, and the singers so I'll put myself back down now Ken Fred. let's have uh, Sally whoever she is few singers now uh, more Maureen um, a U R E N and uh, who else should we have Kelly sorry right we're ready those so now once we click apply they will go in the rotor click apply And when it goes around now, um, uh, probably the second pass, uh, it will have uh, it'll have those uh, singers in it. Um, first pass will just have the the originals, I think. Jack, Ian, Jack and Ian, and then it will go around again. Now refresh itself. It uh, it refreshes in the background, whereas the uh, the OTS version it sort of interrupts and that used to drive me up the wall that you're, you're watching it you sat in the bar watching it to see your name come up to see what singer singer's order is and uh, 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 what the G, the DJ would update the singers list and uh, and this ticker would blank out halfway through through uh, the Palladium or whatever and then start again having blanked out well this one doesn't this one updates it's, it's going constantly and it's just updating uh, as it goes around so there we are that's uh, that's a little demonstration of this software it's very very simple to actually install and use um, you just click it to start it off and you'll get the screen there with the text which you alter and and just click the apply button and the the scrolling ticker window you just stretch it to the size you want and drag it for where you want it to be and then drag the other screen uh, so that it's above it. I think that's all I can tell you about it really because it, there's just nothing to it. It's, ab it's so simple. Um, what I want to know is, is there any point in it? I mean, Phil came up with this idea to, uh, to use, um, to put a ticker on Virtual DJ, but is there any point in it? Is there any demand for this? Or am I wasting my time and should I uh, just scrap the project? Okay. Anyway, let me know what you think.